In just year two for Notre Dame in the ACC, the Fighting Irish pick up its first ACC title. I'm Jeff Fischel with Jason Capel and Drew Barry here at the New York Live ACC Tournament. Guys, let's start, Drew. The seniors, they ignited this team, and it was just beautiful basketball all around for the Irish. Yeah, I mean, this was all about a team effort, but I, we got to point out the seniors. I mean, Pat Connaughton, Jerry and Grant, they were fantastic. The team got down nine points. They didn't bat an eye, they didn't get. They didn't panic. Jaron Grant took his game to about three yeah. levels up and totally dominated. The Carolina guards could not stop him. He created, he facilitated, he hit big shots, got to the line, and then Connaughton got it going, had a great night, 20 points. This team's 29 and five. They're flying under the radar at 29 and five. How does, how does that happen? Well, I spent time with Jaron Grant this year and asked him, how does he know when to turn it on? We know he leads the league in assists seven, but he understood the point in the game when they were down nine or 10 points, it was time for him to attack. He shot 18 free throws, made 15 of them. You talk about a team effort, five guys in double figures, but those seniors led the way. In a time when you talk about the next level where upperclassmen are undervalued, upperclassmen led Notre Dame to a championship on this court today. You, Jaron Grant, the tournament MVP, by yeah. the way. Pat Connaughton, no slouch either. In fact, I remember at one point, yeah, yeah. Connaughton <laughs> was right next to us, and you said, Pat, shoot the ball. Next time down the floor, he hits a three. Yeah, well, I mean, the guy was four for five <laughs> from three. Had missed one other shot. Yeah. He was on fire, and he was just being unselfish, and I had to yell at him, get on him. I talked to him before the game, told him, remind me of Matt Harpering. The guy's tough as they come. He's guarding Bryce Johnson. He's 6'5 at best. Garden 6'9", right. Bryce Johnson, the guy is tough as nails, comes from Boston, had a terrific game. But what Notre Dame makes you do, they make you adjust to them. They make you play small ball, and no one in the country plays small ball as well as Notre Dame. Great team effort. Mike Bray, obviously, this meant so much to him. He grew yeah. up in ACC country. He was an assistant at Duke for Coach K, and now he comes in from South Bend, Indiana. You're in the ACC, and you win an ACC title. Yeah, I mean, it's a terrific effort, but I, I think the thing they're focused on is they're focused on the national championship. Although this is nice and this is great, I talked to him two days ago, and I said, Coach, are you going to wear down your players in three days <laughs> in three games and cut down the nets, or do you want to be ready? Because you've got a recipe and you've got the ingredients to make a deep run in this tournament. And he said, you know, it's a fine line, but Notre Dame would love to cut down the nets as the ACC champion. 29-5, and five, this team is flying under the radar. Nobody wants to play this team, especially with only one day to prepare. They're a high-octane offense. They are a team. They play together, they play smart, and they're a tough group of guys who only want the goal of winning basketball games. They're going to be a tough out in the NCAA tournament. And the last time a team beat both Duke and North Carolina yep. to win an ACC title, your 1993 Georgia I, Tech you Yellow know, I showed Connie to the ring. <laughs> I said, this is what you're going for, baby. And he said, I'm ready. So. They're cutting down the nets behind us. Notre Dame, the 2015 New York Live ACC champs. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.